All right, let's do link aggregation between VQFX and VMX, sometimes referred to as aggregated ethernet or port channeling. Let's get into it. Let's log into the lab. All right, I gotta make some connections. Remember VMX, you make the connections from the forwarding plane, but in QFX, you make them on the control plane. And in EVE Community Edition, the nodes have to be shut down. If you buy the Pro license, you can do hot connections, meaning the nodes can be up and running when you make the connections. All right, on VMX, here's my available gigabit ports. EM2, they got an EM number and then the, the nice gigabit nomenclature equivalent. I'm just going to start with the first one, GE000. On VQFX, let's go XE000. Kind of funny, a 1 gig connected to a 10 gig. It's probably going to work. I think I've done this before. All right, let's save that. And you know what? I'm going to flip these over so the lines line up a little bit better. There we go. Let's make a second connection because we're going to want to bundle these. Port 1 to port 1. Save that. Okay, let's boot these up. Start selected. Started, 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 and started. Let's click on the control plane of both and watch them boot up. There's VMX. Oops, I clicked on the wrong one. There's VQFX. VQFX root Juniper with a capital J. VMX is booted. It's just root without a password. So chassis FPC. Are my line cards up and running yet? Not yet. Okay, they're both booted up. Let's look at the interfaces. There's my gigabit ports. And they're known as XEs on the VQFX side. Okay, as a basic configuration, the first thing you need to do is set chassis aggregated devices, Ethernet device count. You got to give yourself at, le at least one, one device count to create one aggregated Ethernet interface. But thinking for the future, you might configure more of these down the road. Give yourself several. So I'll put 15. Then you assign the Ethernet port into the 802.3 Alpha Delta, that's LACP IEEE standard uh, AE0. You tell it what aggregated Ethernet interface to use. Okay, and this is on the VMX side. Okay, there's the second port. G001 is the second port. And here on the VQFX side, same thing, XE000. Ether options, 802.3 AD. I will warn you, some systems or some Junos versions require gig Ether options. Let's try with Ether options first. I think it's Junos 19, some version in there and higher may require Ether option, excuse me, gig Ether options. So um, I know I experienced that in my operational network, uh, but let's check out what our lab can do. Okay, so also the AE number does not have to be the same on both of the systems. This, this uh, router over here, the VQFX side, could be AE99. This over here could be AE46. Does not matter uh, between the two systems that are doing, doing link aggregation between them, okay? But you need to put the two physical interfaces in the same local AE number for them to bundle together, okay? Then we're just putting an IP address on both sides, 10.10.10.1 and 10.10.10.2. Let's give this a try. First of all, I'm gonna name this router, set system host name, VMX01. I think that's what it's called in the lab. Yes, VMX01. 
and I think it's going to require a root password now. Set systems root authentication plain text password. Okay, I think I'm going to change this one while I'm at it so that it's not that default Juniper password. Also, I'll change this name to be what we have on the EVNG network diagram. Okay, let's get these configs in here. Let's copy VMX. Let's paste it in there. Commit check. Show pipe compare. There it is, chassis aggregated devices, GE000, GE001, both in AE0. All right, let's commit that. Let's put BQFX in here. You know what, before I do that, I'm going to fire up a ping, 10, 10, 10, 2, so we can see this in real time. Let's copy this. Oh, sometimes when I paste stuff, it doesn't go in there completely on my terminal emulator. I think the last command was this one. Give me a check. And, oh, what do we have here? We have a default config conflict. Show interfaces. Uh, XE000 display set. XE001 display set. Yeah, so let's get rid of some of the default config on here. Show pipe compare. Commit, commit check to see if it's going to work. Yep, it will. Commit and quit. And let's see if those pings start coming back right after it commits. Okay, show LECP interface. We have an AE0 interface, fast periodic detached. Hmm. Oh, collecting, distributing. Boom, boom. There we go. There's the pings. So we can look at it on both sides. Show LACP interface. Collecting, distributing. That's what you want to see. Excellent. Show ARP. No resolve. Interface AE0.0. There's the ARP. That's pretty straightforward. That's all I got for this one. Bye-bye.